UFOs are the same as angels from the Bible, a U.S. congressman suggests. Days after legislator Anna Paulina Luna publicly said that the origin of UFOs is interdimensional, another member of the House of Representatives made a statement to the same effect. U.S. Congressman Eric Burleson also stated that UFOs are the same as angels. Obviously, he hasn't seen angels. Uh, we have in our church, and they are of uncreated light, and they are human-looking because, as we know, God created man in the image of God, and that is the highest uh, elevation possible. Even angels look like humans. Now, he says, in this case, it's Eric Burleson, representative of Missouri 7th Congressional District, who, when interviewed for that UFO podcast about the latest revelations and legislative efforts to provide more transparency to the issue of the UAPs, what we call, we call UFOs, left speechless at his interlocutor. In David Grush's report, you can read that one of the theories about what we are finding is that they are extraterrestrial or interdimensional beings. Well, if they're interdimensional, they could also be demons, okay? Let's keep that in mind. Now, that is, if we live in a three-dimensional environment, we're being visited by something from a higher dimension, said Burlinson. And it's not that they are necessarily traveling towards our world. If they are from a different dimension, there is a difference in time and space, and distance becomes irrelevant at that point. And that's why I think the probability is low that there are beings from an alien race from another planet light, light years away, he said. It would be a long way to get to here when uh, and then crash their ships. The extra-dimensional theory, on the other hand, is more probable and more intriguing to me, he said, but I still have to see more to believe that it's correct. Subsequently, to the and to argue in favor of the interdimensional or extra-dimensional origin of UFOs, Burlinson went back to the hypothesis of ancient astronauts and his biblical aspect. He said, in a lot of different ancient scriptures, including the Bible, there's the way God's messengers or angels are described. Anywhere the word angel is used, to me, they are mentioning extra-dimensional beings. It should be noted that Burleson, like his colleague Luna, was another of those who attended the classified UFO briefing that took place January 12th. Similarities between depictions of angels in the Bible and UFOs? Both angels and UFOs are most frequently portrayed as capable of flight. Biblical passages often specifically reference an angel's wings, Revelations 8.13, allowing them to swiftly travel between heaven and earth. Similarly, UFOs demonstrate advanced technology for aerial mobility that surpass any known man-made craft. Artistic depictions also connect the two, hovering effortlessly in place despite lacking visible means of support and propulsion. And this feat seen in artistic renderings mirrors many recent claims surrounding close-range UFO sightings. The view from above also features prominently for God's eye-covered angels, Revelation 4-6, and UFOs with underside mounted lights that clue their silent sweeping surveillance across the landscape, and like angels keeping watch from on high, UFOs seem to observe humanity's activity down below. Okay, look, obviously the man has not read about angels or demons. He has not seen angels or demons, but uh, uh, when God gives us the grace to see our guardian angel, for example, our guardian angel is always next to us. He carries our prayers to the throne. He actually feels so intensely our prayers, even though we may be half asleep when we're, you know, reciting something in our bed. Uh, he takes them with full emotion and uh, copies every single word towards the throne of God. Okay, we uh, we have sometimes people have had the grace to see their guardian angel right next to them, repeating what they have prayed in their mind. But going back to this, therefore, one may speculate whether our interpretation of angels arose from primitive glimpses of advanced flying technology, 
later realized more fully as UFOs, or perhaps UFOs represent modern manifestation of angels revealing themselves selectively through, throughout history. In either case, he says, the timeless attributes of heaven's winged messengers continue inspiring technological innovations that humanity suggests struggles to comprehend, yet their divine origins and purposes like ex likely extend far beyond what our science can currently conceive. This is by Anshu Vastava on Infinity Explorers. Uh, of course, UFOs, of course, can be anything. It could be, they could be man-made uh, uh, secret uh, operations, we don't know. Uh, or they could be the leftover beings that are hiding away from us, have uh, somehow survived past cataclysms and are still among us. We don't know. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.